September 11th. We're back, Craig and I. I'm behind the camera again. Craig's, Craig's shooting. Tonight we're gonna get it done. Right? It's happening. Tonight's the night. Yep. Either way, we're all cutting, so you can't complain. As hunters, we always seem to be searching for a new challenge. And for both of us, there was nothing we wanted to attempt more than to harvest a bull elk with our bows for the first time. This September, we set out to do just that. Every chance we had, we headed out to elk country trying to learn the new property and learn the elk patterns. Last Friday, we were sitting right here. We made ourselves a little blind here. That's where our first cow came out, right here, 20 yards. We were hoping for a bull right behind her, but switching her up tonight. Do you remember any heavy trails coming out over there? No, there's a heavy one right behind us. Mm -hmm. Wings. Just swirls in this it bowl. swirls in here. Back in here within range, they seem to like coming out in this low spot for some reason. Two, the two evenings, they both, they came out. Only a cow the second evening, but she came out right here. And the first evening when we come over the hill, there was 19 of them and they were all in this low here. So I think if we stick close to here, might have a shot, hopefully. On the morning of September 18th, we finally had the east wind that we needed to get into position to cut the bull off on his way into cover, so we headed in. It's happening. It is 4.38 and we are off hoping to get around the elk this morning before it gets too late. Um, we had a good night last night and we're hoping if we get around and cut them off we can uh, get us a bowl i heard cows there before mewing so they're over there somewhere i'm just hoping if we go this way there's not a whole bunch that's going to come around the corner here my guess is if they're mewing I think I smoked them.
as soon as it went two feet bolted. I must have smoked them. I sh I'm sure I saw it then ring them. Unfortunately, there are things that happen in hunting that are hard lessons to learn. We looked all afternoon on horseback and weren't able to locate a blood trail that day. We apologize for not getting much of the search on video, but we put all of our focus into finding any sign that could lead us to the bull. Well, another day, no luck, another morning. Last night, Craig had a chance at a had a shot at a giant. Hit hit the giant. We never did. weren't able to locate him. Craig came back on horseback and rode all through the through where we think he went, and we couldn't find a blood trail for him. It's uh, September 21st and uh, Friday we uh, snuck in, got behind the herd and uh, we I had a chance at a 8x7 we're thinking, 7x7 seven seven for sure, bull elk. Um, it was just that shooting light. Came in 54 yards, so I let one fly, and uh, I hit him. Felt good. He ran away. I seen the arrow sticking out. Looked like it penetrated half, but unfortunately, it's been three days, and I can't find that bull. And it's raining, and it's heartbreaking, honestly. All that meat gone to waste. Such a mature bull too. But that's hunting and unfortunately you can't win them all. Our spirits were low, but we made the decision to keep hunting. Well, September 22nd, I snuck in here. Of course that herd bull was right in this corner again, but he was just in the bush, probably 50 yards I got in this spot and uh, started calling because he was bugling at me I'm sure you could probably hear me and uh, there was another bull bugling out in the field so I decided well he's going to take off anyway so I might as well bugle did some cow calls and uh, he came back out and I just ranged it he was at 24 yards but it was still too dark to shoot so uh, yeah it looked like he walked over the hill there so I waited for a while Nothing. Gone again. Well, <clears throat> I snuck in there today. I've never seen that many elk uh, yet this year. Um, they were calling all, all to the left of me as I walked in. They were bugling like crazy. It was absolutely insane and I snuck past them somehow I had the right wind but they were so close to me I could hear them walking I got into the spot <clears throat> they were at least 10 bulls I'm guessing and uh, I seen at least seven different bulls it's about 
6 o'clock in the afternoon. We're heading back in this morning. Craig came, uh, Craig came in solo and was uh, surrounded by elk. He had a bunch of bulls and a bunch of cows screaming like crazy. He had a lot of action. So, so we're back in. It's my turn to shoot. Uh, so we'll see how we see how we make out. We got Hayden with us tonight, so maybe it'll be our good luck charm. It's been uh, five days since uh, I shot that bull, and uh, we've been in, luckily I'm off, so we've been in here every morning at least, some of the nights, and uh, last night we came in because there was a ton of elk in the morning, so we thought maybe we'd get a chance at Dylan, and uh, we uh, came down here and we smelt something. Of course, we found my bull that I shot so uh, it's kind of bittersweet i'm pumped that we found it it's dead and not suffering the crappy part is that i did make a good shot and he uh, died 100 yards off the field and we must have walked by him i don't know how many times but so unfortunately we don't get any meat but i am tagged out so it's all dylan from here on we're gonna go get him After finding Craig's bull and putting some closure to the story of the 8x7, it was now my turn to be behind the bow. With September over, the temperatures were dropping and the first frost was in the forecast, so we knew we wanted to be in the field that evening. As luck would have it, the elk were thinking the same thing. It's been about a half hour since I shot the elk. Uh, Craig looked back at the footage a few times and the shot looks good. So I at first thought it was a little far back, but oh man, we uh, we snuck up and found where he went in. We found blood and it looks like good blood. So we're backing out. We're gonna go to the truck and just kind of relax for a bit. Oh man. And then hopefully we can go in there and just find him dead. And if not, we'll come back in the morning. Well, last night we had no luck. Um, we did find the blood trail, but it only went a little ways in the dark. It was really hard to follow. We're back in the morning. We're, we found the arrow and the arrow looks a little better than I thought for penetration. Um, there's good blood on him. And, we're gonna keep going.
Red heart. That feels so good. <laughs> I was in crashing for sure last night, hey? I walked right by him. Right by him. I walked right up here twice. That's just how it shows in the dark. Oh. Man, this <laughs> you know what, man? Last night, I was right here and I could smell out. And the wind was coming from the south. And I could smell elk, and I thought, well, maybe this way. And I, we walked right by him last night. Yep. <sighs> what? Man. Oh, man. Look, finally a good ending. Man. I don't even know what to say. We've hunted hard this year. And we got her done. This is my first elk with the with the bow. And uh my shot wasn't it wasn't great. It wasn't perfect. It was a little high and it was a tad far back, but I I definitely got long. And uh I didn't get much penetration, but I got enough. And, well, I'm just so pumped right now, man. We finally got meat in the freezer. And my first elk with a bow. What a what a good ending to the elk season, man. This is awesome. Thanks, man. Good night, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> this elk season was filled with extreme highs and lows. Despite some massive disappointment, we still got meat in the freezer and got some incredible footage to give you a taste of what it is we love to do. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for upcoming hunts. You can also follow us on our Instagram or Facebook pages. Or book your next hunt, northmtnadventures.com.